The most important thing about the Women in Defence Awards for me is the tremendous good that they do. The ripple effect of a single nomination touches so many people. It's a chance for us to look at some of these inspiring people and the stories that they can tell us and how it might apply to our own organisations. Inspiration is an overused word, but uh, truly inspirational winners, you know, that will, uh, that will receive their awards this evening. When you look here tonight, of the 30 finalists, they have clearly represented inspiration, dreaming, as well as bringing innovative solutions. We aim to encourage women to succeed authentically, to share experience. It's about recognising talent in the defence industry in the UK, and we're extremely proud as ever to be sponsoring this evening. We are so lucky to be able to hold the awards in the Imperial War Museum, a fitting venue to celebrate the achievements of women in defence, past and present. We're putting talent, not gender, first. And quite simply, Britain will be better for it. And the winner is Major Nix Wetherill. This event always engages me with fantastic achievements of these women who have done so much in their uh, sometimes very short careers so far. So, you know, it's a great evening and we really support this course. And the winner is Corporal Karen Jones. They stand as exemplary role models for others. We are proud and honoured to recognise their achievements at this event. Uh, the winner is Sarah Padley. <laughs> and we've really enjoyed being involved over the, the previous number of years and we particularly uh, enjoy supporting the Collaborative Award, which is something we're really proud of in our own company. So we're really keen to see that champion throughout Women in Defence, so hence why Aspire Defence is here. And the winner is Michelle Partington. Every organisation understands the benefits of diversity in the workforce it helps develop that competitive advantage. And the winner is Lucy Finch. I think tonight a great opportunity to just recognise the inspirational women that we do have within, within Defence and their remarkable achievements. And the winner is Professor Petra Oyston. So when we think about innovation in Kinetic, we're we're looking at the technology, which is a key and important factor. But most of all, we're actually looking to get a diverse group of people together uh, across a spectrum of organisations and people with different diverse backgrounds to get the best ideas to deliver the best solutions for our customers. And that's why we're really delighted to be supporting the innovation category at the awards dinner tonight. And the winner is Maggie O'Connell Weston. The Women in Defence Awards is all about recognising fantastic women both in the Ministry of Defence, serving members of the uh, armed forces, but also the women in the defence sector. And there are just wonderful women all over that sector doing fantastic things and we are delighted to see them recognised at this ceremony. And the winner is Victoria. Uh, the Atos team are really pleased to be sponsoring this award for the third year running. It really is our favourite award of the season. The ladies are always very humble about what they've achieved and we really want them to be loud and proud and shout about what they've done and what they've accomplished. And the winner is a joint operational team, GCHQ. I think hearing these stories about what these women as individuals or as teams have done speaks to that inspirational theme for the next generation of women. And the winner is Lieutenant Colonel Deborah Taylor. Just looking at the number of uh, people who've been honoured this evening by making it through to this stage of the competition, the diversity of experience, the fantastic commitment, courage, passion, energy and enthusiasm that they're bringing to bear and the inspirational stories we, we're hearing uh, through the evening is just fantastic. Well, congratulations to all our winners and nominees. That's all the category awards for this year and leaves only the overall Woman of the Year for 2018. The winner is Michelle Partington. Uh, 
I'm so blessed and so pleased. There's been a lot of people who've helped me to get to where I am today and I wouldn't be stood up here now without many other people that have helped me recover because I hit rock bottom and I'd given up. So for me, you know, I was ending my life and now I want to take my life as far as I can go. And I know that I've got full support by so many people to do it. So this evening has just meant so much to me. It was touching to see how overcome the Woman of the Year was, but she was a really worthy winner. The evening was really inspiring. The stories that have come out about the other women are mind-blowing. Tonight has been looking at the last 100 years and it's exciting to be looking forward to the next 100 years and what women can achieve. I think each year gets better. We were so lucky to have the Secretary of State. 270 people sat down to dinner. Wow, what on earth are we going to do next year?